Okay, I've never done a vlog before, but since I do enough races throughout the year, why do I look bald? Um, Jesus, that's... Anyway, my friend Jake, shout out to him. He said that uh, that I should start vlogging just because I, I do enough races throughout the season. I feel like my point of view would be somewhat interesting. I don't, I don't really know if there's any truth to that. I guess we're going to find out. But um, just clocked out of work. It's Tuesday night. I fly out tomorrow at like noon, I think. I don't know. I should probably check. But uh, I don't know. I'll see you at the airport. I plan on watching Cars, the movie, and uh, eating a lot of Nerds gummy clusters on the flight down to Florida. So um, we'll see how this goes. Daytona 500. Let's do it. Also, 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 while, while I'm still here, uh, my friend Rachel wanted a shout out. She didn't really do anything, but she wanted... Um, a shout out just because I told her I might vlog. So, so shout out Rachel. So we just landed. Kept telling all my friends that um, I want to have like an interaction with an alligator while I'm down here. Not like, not like a scary one. More, more so one where like I make eye contact with it and then it looks at me and we kind of have this like mutual respect to where we don't mess with each other. Um, but then I had a dream that um, I was on a jet ski in a lake in my hometown and that doesn't make any sense because I've never even been on a jet ski uh, but the water in that lake was alligator infested and I had that dream like a month ago and I think that was my sign to just not hope that I run into an alligator during this trip so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens I feel like if I see one I really hope it would just look at me and not try to mess with me too much but I would definitely pull out my phone and try to record it. And that's where I think that that's probably my downfall. I feel like there is a mutual respect, but it's also like weighed 60, 40 in favor of, in favor of someone else. Cause I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Made it to Daytona. We're in the infield right now, repping Jimmy Johnson. I got the fake hoodie on. Uh, Jimmy has to race his way in, which isn't great, not ideal. Um, but all he has to do is beat JJ Yaley right over there. Tall order. JJ Yaley, the resume speaks for itself. So we're going to see how tonight goes. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of worried, but, but we're going to see how it goes. Excited to be here. This was almost J.J. Yaley's career best moment. Couldn't do it. Sucks to suck. See you next year. Yeah, we stand for the flag around here. If you don't like it, I'll help you pack. It is truck racing night in America. We're repping Paul Menard. I got the, the real hat, but the shirt's fake. Made it myself. Didn't turn out too well. It wasn't my fault. Anyways, I, I don't really know who's in this race other than Raja. Um, that's that's who we're pulling for. Uh, I don't 
I don't know if I really care too much about this here truck race. And more important news, the ARCA race has been moved to tonight, uh, which means SVG is running on an oval tonight. Now, he almost wasn't because he failed to qualify, but um, they whipped out their wallet. So, so that, you know, that tends to fix most things. So we're going to sit through this here truck race and then get to the, uh, the most important race of the weekend. Stay tuned. As you can see, walking out of the facility early. First time in my life I've ever left a race early. So, Nick Sanchez, first career win in trucks. Props to him. Won a Raj out of win. He ended up P2, I think, or three. One of the two, I don't know. Arca race was great for about two laps. And then Shane Wreck going into turn one. They may or may not be getting his car back out so he could get some uh, more experience. Um, but that's all behind me now, quite literally. So we're, we're going to see what tomorrow brings. I've got this great prediction that tomorrow is just going to be a wash. There ain't no way we're racing on Saturday. So I don't know what to expect. I think the next time we see any racing, probably going to be, what time is it? 1210 probably 48 hours from now exactly is when the green flag of the of the daytona 500 is going to start but until then i don't know what we got so we'll see how it goes xfinity saturday um but it might be canceled because the forecast it's really bad really bad it's like time is it it's after one i was supposed to be at the track at like 12 but it's late um i just wanted to show off my shirt real quick tony reigns xfinity shirt from like 2000 hometown hero tony reigns nobody really knows about him except for me i feel very honored about that but um this is actually a two-part outfit i just want to show this off real quick hold tight so i bought this fake aj allmendinger hawaiian t-shirt not a t-shirt, it's a wine shirt. And um, it's cold outside, so I got I got this hoodie on, but I didn't pay $50 for the shirt just to not wear it. So we're just gonna throw it on over it. Um, here's, the, here's the thing, like, I, I so like green, I, I don't wear green. This is like the first green thing I've ever worn in my entire life. If there's like a mass shooting or something and I start running, I feel like I'd just be an easy target. So we're gonna we're gonna bank on that not happening today. Um, I'm also not sure if they're even gonna race Xfinity today or not. They just moved up the start like an hour or two, but um, it's gonna rain. So like they'll just push it to Monday. So do I wear this again on Monday or do I wear the Daytona 500 fit on Monday? Because I think that's getting pushed to Monday too. I don't know. Oh, also, listen. So I bought a lot of merch items at a nascar race before but but probably none better than this are you kidding me listen i've been looking for these for like a while i've been wanting to get them just like at retail price but they just they like to sell out before i can put my order in so that just never ever happens and i'm not paying no hundred dollars for some lightning mcqueen crocs but i will pay 70 and that's what i did they had a little trailer set up at daytona 
and I bought them. I was happy to do it too. Felt great. First pair. Starting fifth in his NASCAR Xfinity Series debut, number 97, WeatherTech Chevrolet. From Auckland, New Zealand, Shane Van Gisbergen. Yeah. All right, so update from Daytona. We are here, but it's definitely raining. Um, went to driver intros and got a picture with AJ Allmendinger wearing this shirt. So I guess from now on, whenever I go to an Xfinity race, this might have to be my thing for Xfinity Saturdays for AJ, I guess. So that was fun and exciting. I don't think we're racing today. It is 4.14. Race is supposed to start at 4.30. Um, that ain't happening. The radar looks terrible. Looks terrible tomorrow too. So I take it we're doing a double header on Monday. But um, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. That's, that's gonna be a common thing with this vlog. Common thing with this weekend. We're just seeing how everything goes. Stay tuned. Monday morning, they just announced that the Xfinity race that was supposed to be ran at 11 has been pushed back to 9 p.m. I'm on this bus. I'm not making that announcement to the people, but I think I might be the only one on here that knows. Um, so yeah, Saturday got rained out. Sunday got rained out. Monday morning, we got like six hours to the first race at four. Xfinity running at nine. About to do 15 hours at this racetrack and I'm gonna love every second of it. One dollar on this man to win the 500. I'm not really liking my chances. We're three years in and this is the first car we've had painted wheels with. I don't get it. it should have been done two years ago. Jimmy, I got three dollars on you. Don't let me down. And there's a fight. Birds are coming. Right over here. <laughs> the Rock says, Travers, start your This is probably the worst outcome that could have uh, that could have happened. I'll get the I'll, just for dramatic effect. Listen, anybody else could have won this race. I'm upset. I am upset. For years, everyone has been hyping this kid up and talking about how Bowman is garbage. And this was his shot. It could have been anybody else. I like Byron. I'm upset. Uh, Bring on Xfinity I, if I'm going. I, I still don't know yet. We'll figure that out. I think I'm going. I don't know. I'm going to act like this didn't happen. Got the Xfinity fit back on. I will be drowning my sorrows of the Daytona 500 
with SVG's Xfinity debut. Um, we're gonna we're gonna see how this one goes. He's either gonna win or finish 35th. I don't think there's any in between. Um, I don't. I don't I'm still upset. I don't know. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? He probably doesn't even know what's going on. I don't even think he knows what he's doing, so I'm really excited about this. Yeah, let's go, Shane! Here he comes, he's not in last yet. This is a great day already. Let's go, Shane! Austin Hill, third win in a row. SVG, I can't zoom in, never mind, he's over there. P12, Xfinity debut. Um, wasn't a pretty night at all. He about wrecked it right in front of my face, but he saved it. It was the nastiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how he did it. But um, what a week, what a weekend. Uh, flying back home on Wednesday, tomorrow's Tuesday, so I still got one more day in Florida. One more chance to uh, encounter some alligators, which I, I probably, I think I've given up on that for the year at least. I don't know yet, but um, what a trip. Had a great time. Uh, might update a little bit more. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see, but um, what a good time. Glad I went. We rented a Tesla and they've been really weird. Like I've just been sitting passenger this whole time, just trying to navigate and figure things out. But um, now I'm gonna drive it and I've never driven an electric car before, but I wanted to document this moment. So I'm home now, but before I sign off, I wanted to record this little end bit. Um, a little recap. So like, had a great time, great week, went with my dad. Uh, dad, if you're watching this, thank you for coming along with me. I know racing has always been kind of just my thing, but um, we both spent a lot of money on this trip. So it means a lot to me that my dad was like, yeah, we'll go. Uh, we went last year too, we had a great time and um, ran it back again this year. And uh, I think we're both happy that we did. Um, got to see my grandparents, which is great. Very rarely get to see them. Uh, it was cold in Florida, which is weird for me to say because it was like 50 and I live in Indiana. So cold in February with it being 50 degrees sounds kind of foreign to me. But uh, no, it was kind of cold. Definitely rainy for sure. But uh, we dealt with it and uh, got to see all the races through to the very end without issue. So very happy about that. Um, didn't encounter any alligators unfortunately you know uh probably good for them that they didn't have to deal with me because i don't know i did see one in like a little pond it was i think it was like a crocodile so that's it's a little different than what i was wanting to deal with but like it was kind of small i saw like the snout it was like narrow kind of long so i think that's what that was but um he didn't he didn't do nothing he was just looking at something like something in front of i don't know a um, little disappointed on that end. So, um, you know, there's always next year. But um, 
Overall, I had a great time. I liked doing this. Uh, I didn't do it as much as I thought I was going to. Like there was a lot of stuff throughout the week that I wanted to record and I just was too lazy to pull out my phone to do it. Um, the one thing I wish I had on camera was SVG spinning in the infield right in front of me. Coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I wish I had it on film. Like, I don't know. I filmed like the big screen after it happened, but that's, that's not the same thing. Um, this is my first time ever doing a vlog and I like it. So I think for any other event that I do from this moment forward, I'm going to keep doing it. Next one I do will be in May for the Indy 500. And uh, that one's probably going to be shorter. Like that's just, I'll, I'll probably go to qualifying and then I'll obviously go to the race the next week. But um, other than that, I don't think I'll be posting on here really at all. So we're going to, we're going to see how that goes. Just like the rest of this vlog. That's just, that's, that's the theme of what we're doing. I guess, seeing how things go. So if you've made it this far, I don't know why, but thank you. Um, I feel like I'll probably only get like maybe 10 views on this thing. I'll probably, I'll, I'll send it to like my friends and like force them to watch it. But there ain't no way they're even going to watch it all the way through. So if you made it through and made it this far, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. And I don't know why you would do such a thing, but I appreciate it quite a bit. I think I'm out of words. So I'm going to stop it. Um, yeah, I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching.